In the reactions of alkenes that we've learned up to this point, some new functional group always adds to the more substituted carbon of the alkene. There's one reaction that gives us the opposite regioselectivity. It puts a functional group, specifically an alcohol, on the less substituted carbon, while hydrogen goes to the more substituted site. It's called hydroboration oxidation. And let's see how it works. When an alkene reacts with borane, BH3, we would predict that the homo of the alkene, pi cc, would donate into the lumo of borane, an empty p orbital on boron. As we've seen before, this would leave a carbocation at the more substituted site. Okay, so far so good. Do you see what happens to the boron? It gets a negative formal charge in this process and looks an awful lot like borohydride, BH4 minus, which we know has a pretty high energy homo, sigma BH. That orbital can interact with the empty p orbital of the carbocation, transferring a hydrogen over to that carbon. There's a good bit of evidence that this reaction doesn't happen exactly like we've drawn. A closer approximation is that the two MO interactions happen simultaneously, like we've seen with lots of other reactions of alkenes. Pi cc donates into the empty p orbital on boron, while the sigma bh donates into pi star cc. The result is that the hydrogen and the boron add sin to the alkene, that is, they both end up on the same side. While alkyl boranes like this are sometimes useful, most of the time we follow this step up with hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide. The details of this mechanistic step are pretty complicated and aren't that important to us. But the net result is that the boron is replaced by an OH group with retention of stereochemistry. Overall, these two steps, hydroboration and oxidation, turn an alkene into an alcohol with the OH group at the less substituted carbon, and with the two added groups syn or cis to one another. This completes the reactions of alkenes that you'll be responsible for in Chem 203. We've learned how to convert alkenes into alkyl halides, dihalides, vicinal halo alcohols or halo ethers, epoxides, and alcohols, both with the OH group at the more substituted carbon and with the OH at the less substituted carbon.